Am I the only one who thinks he looks a little bit like Super Mario? <laughs> Is it the hat? Is it the moustache? Is it both? It is Halloween. Things got a little weird on tour this weekend. And y'all certainly didn't disappoint in your Halloween costumes. What a treat. Brian Gay was up for a challenge on Sunday, forcing a playoff against Wyndham Clark. Can't get more clutch than this. Or maybe it can. A birdie putt on the first playoff hole gave Brian Gay his fifth tour victory and first since 2013. It was twice as nice in Bermuda for the Funk and Snyder Jans families. Brothers Luke and Ollie Snyder Jans and Fred Funk and his son Taylor teed it up for the first time ever on tour. This father-son moment is priceless. Fred joined some elite company, becoming only the fourth player, 64 or older, to make the cut on tour since 1970. Say that again, Watson, Nicholas, and Sneed? Yep. Yeah. That's really good. And then Funk, you throw that in there, it doesn't sound right, does it? <laughs> Unique or unusual? Check out Kramer Hickok's putting grip. Right index finger below the grip. That is what? interesting. I believe that's come from the driving range which is right next to this huge net that generally stops the balls, not on that occasion. Keep your head on a swivel, Aaron Wise. Head on a swivel. Will Zalatoris is headed in the right direction, having earned special temporary membership this week. I've always set goals and wanted to, you know, put a deadline on things, and I frankly had never accomplished them at the deadline that I'd ever wanted, and to beat one finally in my career is pretty cool. So this year, uh, you know, going into the year, I, my goal is to finish top 25, get a card that way, and COVID hit, and I took that challenge as an opportunity to try to gain more experience and try to get my card by three wins, and I did it an even different way. Peter Malnati was feeling good, channeling his inner Tiger Woods. We talk a lot about, you know, horses for courses and stuff like that, but the reason Tiger was a horse on so many courses is because any course suited him, you know what I mean? And I'm playing like this, any course could suit me. Who's hungry? Because Rafael Campos is cooking. This is way up in the air and way right. Lands on the cart path. Get a that, burger while you're there. <laughs> that's, uh, that's in the front of the line to get a little chicken sandwich. Yeah, look at the man grilling. He's like, what? wait, Gosh. that's a golf ball? The Vivint Houston Open is on the menu this week. We look forward to seeing 2,000 of you fans each day, and I'll see you on Thursday night in the takeaway after round one.